Campio Centro guys, welcome, Ooh. welcome, welcome back to oh. another Monday recap. It's uh, the third week in a row we've been doing this, I think. Mm. And I think it's safe to say that uh, it's a series. It's, <laughs> it's a, a real it's series. A series. We'll start off, we'll start off with the Canadian Championship for you guys. We'll go over the scores, uh, what stood out for us, and yeah, all, yeah. all that. Um, so I'll let you get started. So uh, first game was uh, Vaughn Azuri against uh, Halifax Wonders. Mm -hmm. Halifax won, surprisingly won. 3-2. Yeah. Onto Blonde V and York 9. And I gotta be straight up with you. Uh, shout out Gen 9. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I gotta be honest with you real quick. Um, I was I was disappointed with York. I really was kind of just hoping for York just to win in order to get the ball moving. Yeah. In, in their whole, just uh, just for their campaign on a whole. Because they weren't, they haven't really been performing too well. Yeah. And we're gonna get into that. We're we'll <laughs> into that more. The, the crazy game that, that they played in the Campiel. Mm -hmm. But uh, nil nil, not very not very entertaining. And I know Canadian Championship game for the week. Cavalry FC versus Pacific. Do we do we need to say the score? We already know who yeah, won. I mean uh, that is unreal. I, I <laughs> it's Cavalry won. Just cavalry let's won. make it two nil. They won. Yeah. Um. Are they gonna lose at this point? Can can Cavalry even be beat? It's, it's like a running I'm wearing yeah, the jersey. It's because I'm wearing the damn jersey. <laughs> He's name of Cavalry. Let's transition onto the first uh, the camp the first Campiel match that we're gonna talk about today. Uh, Cavalry Edmonton, the Al Al Classico Al Classico, baby. I love it. <laughs> oh wow. Um, I was watching this for a bit. Um, Cavalry again. They we asked could they be beat? They clearly can't yet. Nope. Um, they won one nil. Jordan Brown, what a goal! Listen, I need to know if that's planned. Like, if they that, pla I think it is planned. Oh, it look at least Brown had reflexes. Like he was definitely aware of what yeah, was going on. Yeah, I'll yeah, say yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but uh, he made the hell of a run. Hell of a run on the wing. Um, cut it in. Deflect. Block shot. He shot it. Shot got blocked. No composure. Kept his composure. Kept going. And that's that's how it's textbook textbook Text, uh, yeah textbook play. You want to go into you want to go into this one transition. Oh, you do too. Yeah, I think we all want to go into this one. So we got um, Valor FC versus Forge versus Forge. Uh, Forge again got the win two 0 Good. Yeah. Um. My God, Novak. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm I'm just I've been impressed with with him since pretty much since Becker got suspended, mm -hmm. and he's been playing him and Borges, I should say. Yeah. I've been very um I've been very impressed with as of late. That first goal, Novak again, timed that run to perfection. I, you saw that, you like that's offside. We paused it. We did we saw <laughs> the little line there. <laughs> even even watching the highlights earlier today, I yeah. still we were like, My God, like, is that even how did he even manage to do that? Just it's, mind blowing. It's, it's, it's a perfect, perfect run. That that it's is beautiful. that is the run. Not marked. I kind of you blame you gotta blame the defenders yeah, on that you, one. That's Valor a little bit to blame there too. Not not defending properly no. and marking the mm -hmm. man, but great. It was, it was a little bit of a gift, but you better believe Novak, a guy like a Those guy are not caliber. Easy. No, they're not easy, and then he's gonna make you pay. Yeah, on especially on the one on one. And the one on one versus the goalie, mm. you know, cheeky from what he did to the goalie. <laughs> but um, then, uh, and then I'll let you talk. Take take the Borges goal away. So the Borges goal mm. to me is. Uh, Goal of the of the season, I think it's just uh, that's a heavy, heavy term, very heavy statement. You know why? I'm gonna agree with you. I think it's I think because uh, everything, the the pressure, the mm. pressure uh, mm. Forge has had, mm. the fact that they got uh, Becker. Becker was playing this he one. He was playing, yeah. So um, it's just everything combined makes it for a beautiful goal, and I I, I really love that like, cheeky. Yeah, you got yeah. The, the, the cheeky strike. It was just, just like, like a line. It was like a line of Valor players. Yeah, too, just right in front of it. Boom. None of them could get it. Yeah. Simple. <laughs> All I can say is beautiful goal. I love that. Crazy. Insanity. And then, um, yeah, so that would be Forge. And then the other GTA team, York 9, uh, they had their bye week last week. So, of course, Halifax had their bye week this week. Yeah. Um, so, York 9 v. Pacific. Um, you know, it ended 2-2. Ended as a draw. It was... It was entertaining, and I know you want to talk about the the Chilean. Yeah, a little bit. Gatas, Rodrigo, my, yes. my home, yeah. my hombre, my hombre. <laughs> um, and ended. Let me just say first. Let me so let me talk about Haber's goal. Um, it was his first his first ever, and I almost I forgot that that was his first ever Campiel goal. Yeah, uh, me of too. course had to be a header. That physical <laughs> header just suits a player like him. I to be honest it. with you, um, it's great. You know, it it was nice to see. He's he's made a couple mistakes in the previous games. Um, Give him yeah. I was I was really happy just to see him score. To be honest yeah, with you, he, potentially, 
potentially the best goal of the year so far. You think? You think it's okay. the best goal for the so far? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Borges, but this is close. Uh, Fisk's Fisk outside the box ben goal. Fisk, beautiful um, beauty. I don't know how it was. I don't know how he just up and over, up yeah. and over the keeper. Keeper was out of his line. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was for off sure, his line. Yeah. Very aggressive. Played very aggressive. Yeah. But um, I thought it was deflected, just because of how. Uh, if you guys watch the highlights, just because of how it not swerved, but just how it went up and down. Yeah, it was. I like, don't even know how he did that. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like a, a straight just boom. World know? class. Yeah, world class. It's classy, you know. And then, uh, <laughs> of course, then you got. So those are the first two. Those are the first they were two, winning two yeah. zero, and yeah. then York equalizes off the penalty. Off the penalty. Um, my that was your the, Chilean. The, the Chilean, my my guy. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, was it an own goal? Foot mob um, says it's an own goal. I didn't. I didn't. Honestly, I didn't even watch the replay that 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 well. well. I was the. We're gonna get into the comments because we got some. Again, we got some great comments for you guys. Let's go. You should. So, yeah. You know what? Let's, let's get into the comments. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> graphic. Graphic. Okay. So the first comment comes from Mark A uh, three football. Mm -hmm. From this is from the Reddit, the from, Campiel Reddit. From Reddit, and uh, you want you want to read it out? Yes, I will. It's a little small on my screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cavalry may have already won the spring season. Uh, Barring a complete change in form, four straight wins may be too much for other clubs to catch up to. I agree. That's what we just literally we just <laughs> we literally just. I can't. I say you know if they win one more game because there's it's it's pretty much over. Yeah. It's almost over the spring season, which is which is crazy to think about. It's mind blowing, because you know a year ago none of this even started. None of this happened. I'm gonna no. get emotional again. I'm gonna cry again. But um, yeah, you know what? I've, if they win their next one or two matches, it's pretty much over. Next two comments are by um, Varun from Reddit. Yeah, on Reddit. So uh, I'll let you take away. I'll let you uh, do the Our midfield struggle. Mm -hmm. It looks like uh, Bustos wasn't getting enough support behind. Uh, it was yeah. It was he was trying too much to defend. And I, I noticed I, that too. Yeah, and I, I agree. I I really think their midfield has been a little lackluster. Yeah. You say yeah. They they've been doing a lot of last ditch defending, mm -hmm. yeah, especially in that Forge game, and and I mean it worked because Forge could have ran away with it. They could have had like four goals, yeah, in that game if you were really like Novak could have had a double. I think Borges could Borges could have had a double too. It could have been could. Borges and Novak, yeah, just were, running were, away with it. They were really good, yeah. And he also says Forge Forge's midfield looks incredible to say the least, and I agree. I mean uh, Becker really showed up in this game i think i think you he, think i know you've had some choice words some choice opinions yeah, on I him mean, <laughs> I, 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 rightly so hold on rightly so because yeah. becker he deserved he kind of really deserved the majority of what he got yeah he did okay very very stupid play for getting suspended yeah um and yeah i mean he came up he wasn't i mean he, i wasn't really blown away in during that game but he, it's better than what he was they won hey yeah it's that, an improvement that's all that's it yeah um Keeping, he was what on the right wing, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. I, I, but yeah, he was I right. So. so hey, that could prove if they want to switch it up, if he if he's more comfortable in that position, we'll see. You know, again, you know, practice the chem, build chemistry, build it, yeah, get the tactics down, and we'll see. Uh, oh, yeah. so uh, Varun also talks about Pacific and York Nine. Easy, Haber's best game. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. I think so too. Yeah, and I still yeah, oh, and he says he felt he had a little bit more to give, and I think so too. He, he was pumped. Yeah. That goal. Yeah, yeah. And you saw it. Again, you literally saw it in his face. Like, you got scared for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I agree. You know, he yeah. said uh, his poor touches could have gone through more goals. And yeah. And that, that's kind of been his problem all season so far. York is, you know, York, York they, they, they went, they, they drew it. I mean, they were down. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they forced Pacific. Well, yeah, they came back. They, um, they forced them off. Again, like you can say, they're, they're they're just skimming by for points, like they barely survived. But you know, they got the job. They, well, they almost got the job yeah, done. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah. They they saved they they saved themselves from the loss. Um, and again, you know, I'm really looking. It's gonna be really interesting to see when um when when uh, May 25th comes and, and they're they, playing at home. They gotta play at home against Forge. Yeah. On the tear that Forge is on right now, it's that's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. That's uh that's all I gotta say. I agree. I agree. It's gonna be beautiful. A good one. You want to go into right. the next comment? Okay, this is from Christian Batello um, on our Instagram. So he says, I thought that York would have a better start to the season when this... Oh, than this, sorry, TBH. And I think the way that Calvary, Calvary has been performing so far this season, they deserve that CONCACAF league spot more than the other three teams that are up for it. Also, I have a question for you guys. Who will go the farthest in the Canadian Championship out of the Campiel teams? I think Valor or Calvary. Yeah. Very interesting. 
um, that that he says Valor Cavalry. It's his opinion again. We we talked to him a bit more after that. Yeah. Um, um, I'm saying Cavalry. I agree. I think Cavalry. Again, self-explanatory, kind of right now. Uh, right now, no other teams are blowing me away the way Cavalry yeah. is. No other team looks yeah. to be up there on Cavalry's level, and there, there's something going on there. Maybe Guardiola is on Skype with yeah. them. They got the earpiece. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's, the, uh, <laughs> it's his football manager project. Yeah. <laughs> They're on the. They got headpieces on yeah, when they're playing. But, uh, no, but all seriously, he's he's playing. They're they're playing beautiful, and I don't. They Straight it up. looked like they can't be stopped. Straight, Straight up. up. Straight so, up. So I'm saying cavalry goes for that spot. Next comment from a Forge FC fan on the <laughs> on the Camp Yell Reddit, uh, Johnny Spoons eighty uh, two, which happens first, a cavalry loss or a York nine win? <laughs> <laughs> It's got to be these Forge fans are savages, oh God, man. man. They oh are savages. God. You guys, you guys, uh, you guys are crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what? So put you in your place. Uh, the York Nine win against Forge. <laughs> let me, let me put York. you in your. Let me put you in your place. All right. I'm gonna go York Nine winning in, this. Uh, at home. I'm gonna go York winning. We'll see, man. We'll see. And then uh, so last comment. the last comment is from the uh, ambitious city Ryan. Shout out to him. Yeah. Uh, it was interesting seeing Becker start again after his ban. After we've been playing so well without him, especially mm. in the right wing spot over Thomas. But regardless, we played amazing and Becker did show improvement. The performance against Ballard proves my point as to why I'm so confident with this squad moving forward. Next up, York. Ew. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> my you My God, forge. these Forge, yeah. man. Um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, it was interesting to see him too in the starting lineup. After all we've said about, yeah, you know, especially on his podcast too. Yeah, just getting shout out, shout out to Ryan. Um, but yeah, I I feel like Thomas has deserved. I feel so too more than Becker, and I think he should have started. But hey, you, you, they got the result, and that's it. That's all mm-hmm. they need, right? At the end of the day, if you're winning football matches, that's yeah. yeah. yeah it doesn't matter <laughs> who you're playing. You're winning. That's it. Winning. That's all you need. But uh, I think uh, I think that wraps it up. Yeah, that, that wraps it up. The Monday recap. The Monday recap. Episode show. three. That is it, baby. Yeah. Episode three. We're almost at five. We're almost at ten. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna go by. It's gonna go by like that. It's gonna, it's gonna go by. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. And with that, guys, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon. Click the bell. Uh, like the video. Do all the good stuff. Follow us on our socials. All that great stuff. And on that note, we'll end it right here. All right. We will see you next Monday. Peace out.